Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Brave Extras video, and since I've made all those other guides uh, for like tower and stuff, I felt like I wanted to make a guide for this video, for this new mechanic or event type mode, Road to Glory, which is basically, if you play Ark Knights, it's the, that one mode where you pick and choose a bunch of things and then you go into it, uh, or if you play Dokkan Battle, it's Burst Mode, basically. And so... You have to choose a bunch of things. This is not for someone who's just starting out. I mean, you can, if you got lucky, you could get lucky with and do some of these things in here. But, uh, so you need to choose certain categories, which are the most point, well, some of the most points, as you can see here. I mean, there's more, more points for all these ones. I chose the gathering as my you know, test run here, and I was able to get the, the points here. And when you first start out, I, unfortunately I can't show you now, but a lot of these things are locked. So you actually have to do several runs, run throughs to get some of these things unlocked here, it looks like. But, um, basically it's just, it's just like if you play Dokkan Battle, like I said, it's, it's burst mode. There's a lot of more options in here than, than in Dokkan Battle, although there's a lot of options in here that I gotta look through, but, um, yeah. So, as you can see, you get more points or you get points based on if you find um, some chests in secret areas, you get some points as well. And so there's that as well. I did that in my chest run. All right. So there's no, the option one here is no items. So no items. The second option here is no friends. So now you have to be a little more creative and at least for my first run, now you could probably, it's probably, a lot of these options probably make it a lot harder, but the mobs are very easy to beat. It's just a one shotable, just use an AoE attack and they all die. At least from this, these spawn of points. Uh, they might be a little harder in the future. Of course, once you get in, you want to actually equip yourself with some of, um, uh, res resist, reduced, um, encounters equipment. And I believe that they nerfed, I don't know if they nerfed it or not. Uh, in this, uh, they talked about nerfing some things in this event, so I don't know if they nerfed that idea. But we're going to try to see what we can do with that. Anyways, this is my gathering team. This is not anything out of the ordinary for JP. On global, you may not have lock or galoof. You may have skipped those banners. So, you could choose a whole bunch of other things. Like, there's, uh, there's, um, other categories, like royal flag. Or whatever it's called on global and there's a lot of other things in your anniversary story is actually gonna be very hard to do i don't know if we're gonna be able to do that one that's actually pretty tough uh and then there's looks like there's certain elements that you could do so that might be a little easier for some people and it looks like the most one on the points are, are the one way down here so we'll have to try that one eventually but <clears throat> basically it's as hard or as easy as you want to make it for this event. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. And then, I'm, uh, you want to get some, for a first base form, I think we want to equip Galoof with some reduction in, in encounter because there's a lot of encounters as you would normally would expect in an exploration, because it's basically an exploration map and you need to go around and finding all these chests to give you extra points. Okay. So at least for a global, this is the best I've got. I got the mug shield. I've got these headdresses here. I crafted multiple of those just in case in the far future. That's a, that's far in the future. And then we have the the mug uh, of Narsh, his TMR, and it doesn't say you can't stack them. I can, uh, of course you can stack them. It, it, they are like the effectiveness of stacking a bunch of these is is less and less effective, but um, it's still there. It's still an option, and of course Diabolos as well. So. Um, I don't know if I want to bore you with the whole map, but we will go in and I will also, I should probably post on the screen, uh, the map. It's not the exact map, but this, all the shortcuts are there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that put on the screen there very quickly. Like I said, most of these chests, except for number three, I think, I could, unless it's like in, not really like i don't know i couldn't find number three and it wasn't on the it wasn't in the list anyway it tells it tells you at the at the bottom i'll show you how many chests you've obtained and where, where the uh, how many chests you need left but this is a general idea um all the secret areas there were chests in them so make sure to definitely go to those secret areas because you also get points for doing that so 
And you know, I already did it with these amount of points. I'm just going to show you guys what it's like very quickly. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just an exploration event. You'll go through. See, it's the same map. Uh, you'll go through and you'll find the secret areas in here. And you'll encounter some stuff, probably. Uh, as you can see, the reduction encounters is actually working quite well because I would have already I would have encountered something by now yeah that definitely helped a lot so you see that in real time that helped out a lot and at least for this first run the enemies are very easy to beat as you can see here but I can't promise you if you increase the difficulty if the mobs are gonna be harder or if the boss is gonna be harder we don't I don't know yet I haven't tried that far this is only my second run I just wanted to make a, a video for you guys uh, there's still all that stuff in there, but I mean, I mean, you can get that stuff for nostalgia, the the little circle things. I mean, do we really need any of the equipment at, uh, stuff at this point? No, but it's just it's a, a nostalgic thing to see all those items on the screen, I guess. And having no items for more points, having no friend is gonna make it a little harder for you guys. But you're kind, maybe you're kind of used to it because of dark visions and and also clash of wills. You can't bring friends to those either, so. Uh, to be fair, you guys you you actually get another slide in here, so now you have to be got a little more creative. I, I was trying to be as creative as possible. I mean, with the category that I'm I, I'm giving myself, and then the boss is easy, com depending on what which setting you have him on. And I don't have him on any real setting yet, so you can beat him with anything. See, it's easy. Uh, for the, at least for this, 32k points actually gets you up midway on the on the pyramid. There actually is a sword pyramid. Like in like in Dokkan Battle Chain, uh, not Chain, yeah, Chain Battle. There's a pyramid, uh, for that. So relating that again to that to this game to this uh, game mode, and I don't think it'll show it show it again. No, because I I got the same score. Um, but I can still show you this. I think to where where you are currently in the scoring. And there's oh, it doesn't show you. It doesn't show you the pyramid. Can't show you the cool pyramid guys, unfortunately. But there's like there's a pyramid that comes up and it tells you where you are in the current square. If you play Dolcan Battle, you know what I'm talking about from the chain battle. It tells you what percentage you're at or whatever wherever you wherever you're at with in terms of points. Um, so there's that. Now obviously, if I go ahead and translate a lot of these things, I'm sure a lot of the things are gonna say like, oh, uh, the boss is harder or has more HP or things like that. So really, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to go through. And I'm pretty confident this time around, this is going to come to global. Um, because even though it's very similar to Clash of Wills, it's not exactly the same. There's a lot of rewards, there's free units involved. Let me show you guys the rewards. Uh, one of these options. Alright, so as you can see, there's some lapis in here. You can actually get quite a bit of lapis. These are the points. Uh, for, the, for, I believe... Just for the score, and also I think uh, these are also for Wilk or whoever the free unit is to get their levels increased. That, I, I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm assuming that's what that is, and also you can get some currency in here. Uh, if you don't get a good score, then you don't get the 100 shards, I guess. But it doesn't look like there's an actual ranking system, it's based on what you can do. So there's not actually, that's not actually PvP. Um, like, the only PvP aspect I see is this, where I showed you guys uh, what your friends are looking like. Or just random people. These might, I don't know if these are friend, my friends on my friends list or these are just random people, but um, I'm assuming they're, they're friends on my friends list or something like that. Let me show you guys where they're currently at compared to you and things like that. I think that's the only aspect. Oh, here's the pyramid. Okay, here it is. So, as you can see here, I'm actually pretty high up, even though it's only my first try. But you want to go all the way up to here where uh, someone said in my Discord, uh, there's no rank 1 of course, like I said, but this is like 668k is around this uh, top of the pyramid here. So just to, if you unlock a few more things, you'll be able to get up to that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, off video so I don't embarrass, try to embarrass myself. But that's basically the premise of it, guys. Pretty simple event, but I just felt like I still needed to guide just so you guys, so you guys understand. And just to reassure you that I'm pretty sure this event will come to global because this is actually a lot. 
There's a lot more effort put into, into the menus and everything compared to the tower event where it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. I mean, it's, 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 it wasn't really that formulated, but they have a logo. They have a like thing here, and there's also a permanent uh, story involved as well. That if you would think that there's, it's it's Sophie or so whatever her name is. Um, before, basically, it's like a what is it called? Like before the story begins. That says what this is. This is what the story is about here. So, yep, that's about it, guys. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to join the Discord because we're all trying to figure it out together one at a time here but we, we've also almost figured it out pretty much but if you guys need any help with this event make sure to join the discord or just leave a comment down below see you guys next video peace